Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this lesson, I'm going to be teaching the song, it's going to be a series actually, that I'm going to be working on the song Nine Pound Hammer. Uh, I know it by the title Nine Pound Hammer. Uh, there's a bunch of other names for it and variations of the song. Um, some people call it Take This Hammer. Um, it's also closely related to Swannanoa Tunnel or Asheville Junction. They're all in the same vein, sound very similar. So, um, this is sort of going to be a blanket lesson for those style of song. Um, I'm going to be working in this series to uh, get you going with the melody and get the chord structure under your fingers. And then I'm going to break out into doing some kind of chop, uh, bluegrass chop style accompaniment behind singing. And then uh, also working on playing in a couple different keys, both the chords and um, the melody and a little bit of a break that I've put together. Um, so it's going to be uh, going to serve as many purposes as, as I can kind of cram in in a couple lessons. So uh, this is, is a lesson for my website, mandolessons.com. You can find tons of lessons over there, a lot of tunes, some songs, a bunch of techniques, a beginner series. There's sheet music, um, play along tracks, you name it, over there. It's all free. Um, it's all run by donation. So if you um, care to donate, there's a couple ways to do that over at the website and in the description of this video. But that said, the lessons will always be free. Um, I also put out a new lesson every Thursday, so uh, please subscribe. Let's get back to the music here. Um, Going to be working out of the key of A just for a change because a lot of the other songs I've done on the website are in I've been doing the key of G and I think D um, but I'm gonna work out of the key of A um, I'll probably be using some of these chop shapes so if you're unfamiliar with those check out the lesson on my website on chop shapes um, I'll play through it a little bit and just so you get a sense of how my version goes again you know there's lots of versions so I'm not saying mine's the right one it's just what I know um, Sounds like this. This nine pound hammer, it's a little too heavy for my size. What if for my size? Roll on, buddy, don't you roll so slow. How can I roll when the wheels don't roll? Going on the mountain just to see my baby. And I ain't coming back. No, I ain't coming back. Roll on, buddy. Can I roll when the wheels don't go? There it is. That's the song. Uh, so I've been using that kind of chop backbeat chord. Uh, so I recommend getting those shapes underneath your fingers. Um, if you if those chop shapes definitely take a little learning. So if you know other a a, it's just the chords are a d and e. Um, so if you know other versions of those chords that um, you want to work with. Uh, until you get those shapes under your fingers, by all means, use those. They'll sound they'll sound good as well. Um, and what I like to do with any song that I learn is just start out by going through the lyrics, and I'll have the lyrics and the chords written out on my website for this song. Um, going through the lyrics and just sort of playing the chord when it happens. So this song has a, like a nice long pickup. This nine pound hammer, and on hammer is your first A chord. So what I like to do is kind of run through it, and this nine pound hammer, it's an A. It's a little too heavy. It's a D chord on heavy. Buddy for my size, that's an E. Buddy for my size, and back to A. And then the chorus is the same. Roll on, buddy, don't you roll so slow. How can I roll when the wheels won't go? And that's the whole, you know, that's a, sh a short verse and a short chorus or refrain. Um, that's the whole thing, and it just repeats through. A bunch of floating lyrics, you'll find everybody has a different set of lyrics for this. Um, it's a great song, right, for kind of jamming out too. So uh, once once you get that feeling in your head, I'll do that one more time. Um, it uh, you know that that's a great way to start any song. It's how I start any song that I learn. Um, I go right for, you know, just figuring out where the chords are and where they change. I don't worry about singing or playing in time. 
um, just go right, just get the very basics. So I'll do that one more time. This nine pound hammer, A, it's a little too D chord. Here comes an E, then back to A, and then the chorus, roll on A chord. Don't you roll so D, how can I E, when the wheels won't A? So get that feeling into your head, you know, go look up the words over on my website and just sort of play the chord where you see it written above the word. Uh, and then once that's feeling familiar to you, just try to get a little bit of this backbeat. And there's a lesson over on mandolessons.com on both how to play this chord shape and how to get this backbeat feel into your playing. Um, so, so it's kind of a want and two. One, two, three. This nine pound hammer, it's a little too heavy for my size. For my size. Roll on, buddy. Won't you roll so slow? How can I roll when the wheels won't go? So that's sort of what it sounds like with a kind of basic, just offbeat chop. Um, you can also spice it up a little bit with um, a little bit of downbeat. So what I'm doing here is... So I'm just hitting the, what's the G string as a little kind of bass, chop, bass, chop, bass, chop, bass, chop. Bass, chop, bass, chop, bass, chop. So it sounds like this. This nine pound hammer, it's a little too heavy for my size. But if for my size, roll on, buddy. Don't you roll so slow. How can I roll when the wheels won't go? And sped up a little bit. This nine pound hammer, it's a little too heavy for my size. But if for my size, roll on buddy, won't you roll so slow? How can I roll? Um, and if you're familiar with those, you know, if that's still feeling good and you want something a little extra, you can add a little bit of upstroke to it. Again, not much. The role of the mandolin in bluegrass um, really gives, gives a lot of focus on that, that offbeat. That's sort of where your main uh, rhythm is going to be. But you can add a little bit of that bass. Yeah, a little bit of up every once in a while. So I'm going to bass, strum up, bass, strum up, bass, chop 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 up. And that sounds like this. This nine pound hammer is a little too heavy for my size, for my size. So that's that. I think that's probably a good place to stop uh, for this lesson. Again, get the get the melody into your head, get the the chord structure under your fingers, and then start working on those chop shapes um, and getting that offbeat rhythm really solid in your fingers. Great to use a metronome with this. Um, great to if you can find a version in A. Great to play along with that. Um, Again, if you need help with those chop shapes or playing on that in that offbeat style, uh, check out the technique and fundamental section of mandolessons.com and stay tuned for the next uh, lesson in the series where I'm going to work on playing 
a little bit of a break that I, I kind of made for this song that follows the melody, but also um, kind of steps away from the melody a little bit as well. So thanks again for watching, and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.